It's nothing. Never mind. Just a weird thought, she said quietly. But how do your people know so much about them? I mean, I get that you learned their language, but still, you would have had to talk to them. And they were powerful chaos mages. And you said that your world doesn't have magic, so... Well, we capture some. Since magic doesn't work in my world, they were just normal people, I said. They realised what just came out of my mouth, and Prey Sewer didn't realise it too. Jake, she said seriously, what do you mean normal people? I groaned internally at my own stupidity. Oh, you know, I just meant... My mind starts to frizz and go blank. I just meant that they didn't have magic, so they were only as strong as... Um, at this point, Sumer cut me off. Jake, she said seriously, and in a hushed whisper, as if someone might hear. Even though we were alone, are you a Viking? No, I said quickly. Well, not technically, anyway. I ran a hand for my hair and tried to organise my thoughts. I am, however, the same species as them. But the Vikings were a cult that died out centuries ago. I'm as much a Viking as you are a member of the Southern Union. I knew it, she exclaimed quietly. You knew... how? I asked disbelievingly. Well, it wasn't a difficult stretch, though I suppose it's more accurate to say I suspected, she explained. Between your unbelievable levels of mana and your natural affinity for chaos magic, it was obvious. Was that really all it took? I asked unfounded. Well, no. Do you remember the other day when I summoned you and told me you were in my parents' house? She said, as if she were about to admit to something she shouldn't have done. Yeah? I said hesitantly. Well, it was actually the home of a local historian. I asked him a few questions about the Vikings and everything he told me lined up with what I had seen you do, she confessed. You suspected for that long? That was almost two weeks ago, I pointed out. So how do you feel about it? At first, she sighed and took a deep breath. I was shocked, of course, but really I was caught off guard and wondered why you didn't tell me. But then I remember the first time I told you about them and everything I said, and I couldn't blame you. Yeah, you really hate them, I agreed. I get it, though. Vikings are a scourge in my world, too. They are regarded as one of the most fearsome and dangerous people to ever walk the earth, and they only died out due to cultural shifts, disease, and a few too many losses in battle. If they did half the things in your world that they did to mine, then I get how they became so hated. I want you to know, this doesn't affect our partnership. You have nothing in common with them. You've been kind, unreasonably kind, and it's like you said, you have much in common with Vikings as I do with the Southern Union, she finished. Or I thought she was finished, but she immediately flew over to the doorway and cast a spell to open it. She flew back inside carrying a wooden plank. I said all that to say this, Jake. I trust you with my life, and with good reason. You have saved me several times now, and I will continue to trust you through this. She floated the plank over to me, and I reached out and grabbed it. I still don't know how the translation thing works, but I know it doesn't work on things that are written down. What does it say? I asked, looking it over. It had one thing that I recognised, the seal of the royal crown. I have seen it at the guard stations, as well as the citadel and the sanctum. It's a call to duty. I am being summoned to participate in the war as a battlefield healer, 